Hi guys, I'm Vinny B, and welcome to this DIY car lift build. First of all, why did I build it? Well, I needed a car jack capable of reaching at least 24 inches from the ground. And I didn't want that crazy big, standard car lift in the middle of my shop, since I won't need it every day. But I needed the space for my other projects. So I looked around and I came across that kind of an inch design car lift and I said to myself, it's so simple, let's build one. Oh, and by the way, guys, I will link a 3D PDF version of the lift in the description below, so check that out. So for the inch car lift, the principle is quite simple. You've got these two bars and they are almost horizontal. They just have a slight angle. By pushing on both sides with a lot of force, you will then raise the metal section, resulting in lifting the car, right? There's many ways you can push on the bars. You can use hydraulic, but then you will have to buy the hydraulic power unit, the cylinders and the valves, which is not very cheap. So instead I used screws. My first version used fine threaded rod. They were three quarter by 16 UNF. Because I was looking to get a lot of reduction to power it up the lift with a simple power drill. So the problem was that the smallest debris jammed the nut on the rod. I also was using chains to transfer motion on both sides. I know, I know, that was such a stupid idea. I even did a 2 to 1 reduction system with some additional chain and sprockets. But with the nut jamming and the under-engineered transition system, I had to rethink the lift. <laughs> so I changed the UNF screws for some Acme rods. They are 3 quarter by 8. And luckily, I found on Craigslist some used gearboxes. They are one gear gearbox with a 5 to 1 ratio, which is perfect for this project. They're a bit tall, but they're not the highest point on the car lift, so they did fit perfectly. To couple the screw with the gearbox, as you can see on the cut section, I use 3 quarter standard ball bearing and a set of 3 quarter truss bearing that can withstand in dynamic load more than 4,000 pounds. The bearing housing is welded on a 1 inch shaft that come across and link the two sides together. This shaft forms one side of the pivot system. And don't be fooled by the split cutters. Using my lathe, I bored those a bit bigger than 1 inch. I only use split cutters for assembly and disassembly purposes. I also added a shear pin, you know, in case of something is jamming and everything wants to blow up. At the other end, on a one and a half inch pipe, I welded on a two inches long Acme rod. And I made some aluminum wheels to ride inside the gutter. The gutter prevents debris from jamming the wheels. Plus, with that gutter, I can now use the car lift outside on my gravel driveway, which is really convenient. The H arms are made out of a two by two tubing with quarter inch walls. So that's pretty much it for that DIY car lift build. That was simple. When you know what you're doing. One quick note, it weighs a bit less than 200 pounds. For more safety, I did build myself a giant stand. So I don't get squashed underneath my own car because of a welding failure or something. So if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I still have plenty of videos to do and the next one's gonna be on my 40 tons press.
And finally, I think I will be able to start working on my smart Hayabusa. All right, guys, so thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.